So this is the tutorial video for part one of module one. And the first thing you want to do is to add an item. So we'll select from the add an item drop down box. And we're doing this inside the module one folder so that the assignment is in that folder. We'll select add assessment. And we're just going to make sure we give it a unique name. So when you have lots of different assessments, you want to make sure they all have different names. So we're saying this is homework, and we're going to assign it by section, section X. Uh, you can then give a summary if you want. This will appear underneath the assignment on the main page. The instructions will appear once they click into the assignment. And if your assignment isn't ready yet, you can hide it from the students until you have it finished. Oftentimes, we want the assignment to be available for a certain range of dates. So you can set the starting date and the ending date. After the due date, you can then have it open for review. Review mode is when they can work on the assignment, but they cannot improve their grade. Keep in mind that when it is in review mode, the show answer button will be there. So they can just click on that to see the answer. So if you want them to be able to look at it and do some extra practice, then keeping it open for review is fine. But you should never allow those to be a graded assignment. Okay, so we're going to say that we want to make this available uh, starting today. So today is the April 21st. So I started it this morning, and I want this to be due before my next class next week. So my next class maybe meets on Tuesday, and so we'll say uh, Tuesday the 26th at 11 o'clock. So they now have until the start of my next class to finish this. All right, uh, we're going to go through all the different settings, but uh, this box is really nice. Once you get the settings how you want for one assignment, you can actually just copy those settings so you don't have to go in and change all these things again. We are going to keep this open for review, so after the homework deadline's up, uh, we'll let them continue to practice their homework problems if they want extra practice, but not get a grade for that work. Uh, a good display method to use is skip around, and there's a document at the bottom of the Move 102 course where you can look at the different display methods for a sample assignment. Um, but we're going to leave that for a skip around for now. Uh, the attempts per problem, we're going to change that to three. This is sort of the standard for my math lab. They get three tries, after which it'll be marked either right or wrong. And if they want to do it again, they'll need to get a similar problem, have it regenerate. I don't like to have a penalty for the mistakes. So that means if they get it right on the third try, it's the same as getting it right on the first try in terms of their score. But you can put a penalty there if you like. Uh, the feedback method that's good for this is homework. So after the question is submitted the third time, uh, or each time the question is submitted, it'll tell them whether they're right or wrong. And if they miss the question three times, uh, it will allow them to replace that with a similar question. And change show answers to the after last attempt. So they won't see the answer the first two wrong attempts. Uh, they only see it after their last attempt. The other thing we want to do is make sure that they have the option to message the instructor about the question in case there's a problem with it. And I like to give a forum where they can post the question to the forum. And I've already created a forum called a homework Q&A forum. You'd need to create that forum ahead of time. Uh, so create some forum for homework Q&A, and then you can have these assignments linked to it so they can post questions to that forum. We're going to allow the use of late passes. Uh, we'll give them three late passes, and I like to let them use the late pass after the due date within one late pass period. Um, so whatever settings you want to do, you have the option to make the late passes only before the due date, or maybe the one day after the due date, they can still use them. And we're going to assign this to the gradebook category of homework. 
and we want to put it on the calendar. So we're going to say homework section X. So this will now appear on the calendar on the date that we set up here, the 26th. So those are the main things that we need to set for homework. And you can fool around with those and get them how you want. And like I said, in the future assignments, you can just then copy those settings instead of having to change them all again. So we'll click Create Assessment. And we've sort of created an empty shell. Don't exit out of this window. You're going to want to now add questions. But the adding of questions will be done in parts 2, 3, and 4 of Module 1. So check the other videos for how we can search and add questions to this assignment.